Hi, I'm Sean Higgins, editor for SPAR 3D in the SPAR 3D newsletter, and I'm here at the AgriPoint uh, booth with Bill Clifton. And as I understand, you guys have a ground-based Geiger mode LiDAR, which is not something I've ever seen before. Could you yeah, talk, is, talk me through it? This is something unique. Uh, Geiger mode is normally associated with their airborne systems, but really Geiger mode refers to a single photon sensitive uh, LiDAR uh, detector technology. And uh, for years, it's been in the DOD environment. Uh, it's not new technology. It's just really new to commercial applications. Right. Um, most recently, the Harris mapping system is the most recent example, but also that's an airborne system for uh, our application, Precision Agriculture. We're looking at a uh, ground-based system. Uh, the advantage to a Geiger mode system is the single photon sensitivity, which allows us to work with a much lower power laser, which then reduces the size of the entire system down to a more reasonable size uh, by leveraging some advancements in seemingly unrelated fields like nuclear medicine and um, quantum cryptography wow. we're able to <laughs> yeah exactly uh, don't ask me any questions about that but <laughs> the that enables us to leverage work they've done in those fields in order to drive the price of the system down and that's probably one of the biggest uh, the biggest advantages of this system is that we're able to offer performance such as 100 meter range against a 10% reflectivity target, 1,000 points per square meter uh, at 30 meters, and multiple returns per pulse, which is unique for a Geiger mode system, and all of that uh, at a you know a price that's a fraction of a lot of the other competing you know sensors on the market. So the idea with this is people would actually be able to purchase their own sensor, whereas yes. the model usually for Geiger mode is that they'll rent the data. That's or... right, yeah. It's very different from the Harris model where that's really a service-based system where you buy products from them, they operate the system, they don't sell the system. That was always their business model. Ours is not that. We know that this has broad application to a lot of different fields, yeah. and uh, so we want to make that available. Uh, you know, to people in other fields so they can figure out what to use it for. So, so the idea, what brings you to SPAR specifically, because we don't generally have a lot of attendees within the precision agriculture, as I'm right. sure you know, yeah. is the idea of bringing the sensor and finding yeah, that, the people who can use it for... That was the real motivation for AgriPoint to come to SPAR 3D. I mean, uh, next week we will be at uh, SPIE DCS in Anaheim, so... what? I have to ask, what other sorts of applications uh, beyond precision agriculture do you... Oh, gosh. I mean, uh, as, as you've been talking to people here, who's, what's, uh, what sort of people are you, you getting at the booth? Well, it runs the gamut from uh, people wanting to uh, uh, map the interiors of buildings, tunnels, uh, as-built surveys, um, gosh, uh, airborne uh, surveys of lar large infrastructure, projects such as rails, uh, power lines, um, you know, it, it pretty much runs the whole gamut of, you know, we're, we're learning something new every time somebody <laughs> comes up, honestly. Oh, uh, wonderful. It yeah. seems uh, it's, a, it's a really interesting product, yeah. and uh, thank you for taking the time yeah. to talk with thank me. Thank you. I appreciate it.